What's up? It's your boy, it's your man, it's your dude, Harry Lately, and here we are with episode four, four, four of The Never Late Show. So, if you're not familiar, The Never Late Show, uh, we highlight, or I, I'm speaking in the fourth person, I don't know what the hell, uh, we're speaking, <laughs> I did it again, I will bring you on a daily basis art, NFT art, artists, collections, um, projects, whatever you want to call it. Um, that I'm interested in, and I'm bringing them to you. You may be new. You maybe have been in the space for a long time. Uh, you may think I'm a newbie, and I am to some degree. I've been in the space since last summer, so I think we all are. We're all super early. Um, if you think what I'm doing is trash, then keep it moving. If you think what I'm doing is pretty cool, then just keep uh, stay tuned in. It'll only get better and better. It's an iterative process, people. Iterative, which means we'll get better and better. As the days go on, as I get more used to, um, you know, just talking about these projects. So, without further ado, episode four, we're going to hit on an independent artist. Super cool work. Super cool, 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 cool. Exceptional work here. None other than Daily Dust. Alright, folks, we're going to start on Open Sea. But Daily Dust is giving you heat, not only on ETH, but also on Tezo. So we're also going to look at uh, his collection on hand to show you just the exceptional. I mean, I know I use that word a lot, but it's really it's really dope. Like, it's just beyond words to me. Um, if you can see here, like, in the header, I mean, the reason why I like Daily Dust is just it reminds me of, like, a simpler time in my life. But the work is still sophisticated, like, if that makes sense. So as you can see, it's like it's playful but it's not cheesy it's not kitty but it's like you know you can appreciate it you know in my opinion no matter what period of time you are in your life you know what i mean if you're young you can you know there's there's pieces to enjoy or bits about the pieces to enjoy um as well as if you're you know you're older um middle age whatever like i don't want to put an age on it um because these are like animated pieces but they like i don't know they just really speak to me um, the aesthetic, again, um, is just simple. Uh, re again, it reminds me of like a simpler time in my life, but it's still sophisticated. It's still just dope work. Um, <clears throat> and as you can see, there's just like a number of different pieces to choose from, uh, different subject matter, um, kind of like the, the Godzilla type uh, fights here that you see. Um, Space Hero. Got a little Game Boy piece here. 6 a.m. Lullaby is the name of this piece here. Uh, let's see. What the hell is going on with the internet today? But um, you guys remember this cartoon back in the day called Rupert? I don't know. It was on Nickelodeon for a while. It kind of reminds me of that a little bit. Rupert and Pong Ping and uh, all the other characters that they had on that show. But it's still dope. Like, this is, like, dope work. Like, I just, it's just too much sauce like too much sauce um and again it's not just you know on eat uh let's check out the the hen page like these tezos pieces are equally dope um again same aesthetic just a myriad of different options you see here uh this piece is dope underground nightmare let's get it to load there we go today please Come on. All right, let's just go back to the wider view. Can yeah, man, really? All right, there we go. So, um, yeah, these these like, I don't know what to say. Like, the just the art is over the top to me. Like, just super dope work. If it's not, if these pieces aren't in your collection, I don't know what you're doing. Um, it's just. Just top notch work here. Um, whatever your your flavor is, you got the gifts here. You got stills. You got space characters. You got, I mean, just anything that you can imagine. The color schemes, the color grades, like it's just top notch work here. Um, so how do you get in touch with Daily Dust? How do you stay in contact? How do you stay abreast of what's going on? Twitter. 
and just severely underrated like followers 3100 you know since april 2020 like guys it should be like 10 or 20 times the amount of followers <clears throat> with this quality of work so please check out daily dust work on OpenSea. check out daily dust on work on hand follow subscribe like just top-notch work out of indonesia top-notch artist um just stay tuned there's nothing but heat coming from daily dust this has been episode four. See you guys tomorrow. Peace.